A private company is leasing high-priced city land for $1 per year. Now, city leaders approved that deal more than a year ago, and now the developer is back asking for more land for the same low price. Investigative reporter Jessica Savage looks at the company's track record and whether this is a good deal for you, the taxpayer. Way out on Crosstown, at the edge of the city limits, Corpus Christi taxpayers own this land next to the Oso Creek. The county appraisal district says the land is worth close to a million dollars, but the city council leased 68 acres of that land for just a dollar per year for 40 years, based on a promise by a San Antonio developer to build a multi-million dollar regional sports complex. This is a quality of life project that is going to bring more than we can place value on. But since the previous council signed that deal a year and a half ago, the plan has changed. We have to deal with wetlands. We have to deal with floodways. It's going to be a significant issue. And the deadlines pushed back. And now the developers are back again. They say more land is needed. That's not enough for this project to move forward. Now they want 200 acres at the same price. And the promise? To build an even larger sports complex. Two weeks ago, the city council voted 7 to 1 in support of that lease. The loan vote against the deal was at-large councilwoman Debbie Lindsay Opal. The project itself is awesome. My job is, is to protect the citizens and to be a good steward of our assets. And when I look at the deal, I don't think the deal is the best deal for our city. In recent weeks, we've looked into the developer's background and we found no record that the three people involved have any experience building sports complexes. So we asked the company to send a list of its past projects. Instead, a company spokeswoman sent a statement that in part read, quote, we honor and respect the city's duty in assuring it is the very best facility for citizens of Corpus Christi. But we didn't stop there. We looked into the history of the three partners involved in the development, and here's what we found. SQH Sports and Entertainment is the name of the company, and it's a brand new company. The S in the SQH stands for Statzer, a Brent Statzer out of San Antonio. He, along with Derek Hegman, who is the H in the company, run a marketing consulting firm in San Antonio called Promotional Management Group. This is the listed address for that company. But when we stopped by, no one came to the door, and there was no sign indicating what kind of business operated there. In 2012, Bank of America sued the company for an outstanding loan balance of more than $234,000. Bear County court records show the money was paid back in 2016. And the third person involved is Burke Quintanilla. Quintanilla claims to have vast business management experience. Public records show he's opened and closed several businesses over the years. Going back to 2008, Nueces County clerk records show Quintanilla has several pending business tax liens with the IRS. As for what happens with the land the city has leased, the council is expecting expected to take a final vote on May 22nd to finalize that lease agreement. Jessica Savage, Six Investigates. Neither Statzer, Hegman, nor Quintanilla have returned our phone calls. A spokeswoman says that someone with the company will be available for an interview at a later date.